Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your channel. I was inquired on the forums, um, one of the gents asked me what mods I use and if I could explain it in full. So this is a bit of a short video just so I can show you uh, what I'm using so you can use it yourself or not if you don't wish to. Um, it's the OMC mod pack client and first off it's going to run through the stuff I chose. You can either choose the Aslans, Aslanes, yep yeah, sorry dude. Uh, or not. Right, so first off, I've just gone and chosen two road name, play name, tank name. So you can literally on the right hand side see the guy's name and their uh, tank type. Next, I looked at the personal score. So when my screen first loads up after the game, the battle report, it comes up with on the personal page. But you can set your own on a team score if you want to do so. The team score pops up first, or the detailed report pops up first. There's a multitude of things that you can choose on this, but I'm just going to run through what I've actually gone for mine. Uh, the next, I've gone for the players' panel statistics. You know, when you press tab when you're in game, uh, it's worth this load up, and this is what screen pops up. It'll tell you how many games you've played, what ratings you are, etc. And that's what I've gone and chosen. Uh, login enable so I don't have to click on choose server I don't have to click on connect skip any intros on there so I can save it at time save last service so I'm always playing on EU1 it'll always save on EU1 and uh, skip the OMC also gone for this one here so you got World of Tanks old European WA scales which is six color steps you can have the ten color steps seven color steps or the Russian scaling so it all depends on what you want to see and uh, do you know where I was looking at this before where I said where you press a tab there is lots of choices this one here Yashi edition shows in hours instead of number of games played it shows you in the hours you've played in this so there's so many different choices that you can choose next I chose a sound file so when it, it, it there's an alert for me being spotted it comes up with the Metal Gear Solid sound and I use the light bulb as my sixth sense warning you can have General Akbar, but I think that looks a little bit too big. And it kind of gets in the way. Do you know when you're fighting and it stays there for like 10 seconds, you, you try to shoot, you're like, dude, you freaking big, baldy fish head out of my way. I can't see you. All sorts of different choices, though. You've got Sauron. I see you. Uh, it's one I normally go for, German here, but I'm just going to go back to the just simple light bulb. You can have signs. Ah, loads of stuff. Tech trees. So I can, uh, sorry, my vehicle statistics, I know when I'm getting 70%, it'll show in a different colour. Now, you can have the tank icons as well, so you can see uh, the difference in tanks and such. So I'll keep it on that one for now. There's so many different choices on what you you want to look at. Sometimes like, you have to look at the instructions because they do have a mirrored file, and if you don't mirror them correctly, on the left-hand side, it'll say T42. On the reverse side, it'll say 24T, but obviously... Oh, wrong way around, it's like looking in the mirror. Uh, Jimbo's crosshair, I've gone for this one, and it's the optimized two circle. Next, I've gone for the artillery, just nice and simple. Gone for the light, it tells you the distance and travel, but there is a full one as well, which just shows you all of the area, but doesn't seem to give you that much extra apart from more scope overall. Uh, there's melty math mods, which is something I used to use for the artillery. It tells you the distance to travel to target, it tells you the rate, the, the elevation, it says so much, but I don't really need to know that. Uh, gun shake, if I don't want it to shake, I can zoom out to 500 meters. Now you can zoom in to 2 to 16 to 10 to 30. And mouse wheel, I roll my mouse wheel to zoom in. Or you can block that, so you, the only way that you do it is by pressing shift. You know, so if you roll your mouth forward, but you only want to go as max min without actually going to sniper, that's where you go and use these options. Next is this point here. You can see the, the damage received at the top and show the bounced hit log. So it'll come down here. So it'll say the damage I have caused at the top left hand side and damage I've received at the bottom left hand side. There is additional things you can use, which I'll show you in a minute. Like the info panel, so you can see the, the tank's penetration. So if you want to go and shoot somebody, all you do is aim your mouse of where you're going to shoot anyway, and it'll tell you the armor of that tank at the front, at the sides, and at the back. Effective armor calculation, and that's just of your own armor calculation. So that's if I turn my turret 
to where my tracks are pointing towards the enemy, it'll tell me roughly what my armour is, so I can actually side scrape to the best of my abilities of that tank. You get a spot message, which can be annoying after a while. If you get spotted, it goes, oh, I've been spotted at D2, help! Well, then you can just set it so you only does it in training companies, in strongholds, which might be handy, so then you don't have to say spotted, spotted, it'll automatically alert it to everybody in the game. So, oh, I'm seeing a pretty decent, I love using their thing. Next, I'm using the team pools. So at the top, you can see that we've got 9,344 health. They've got 8,132, which is just a combination of both groups of tanks. Nothing complex. And then you get the warning if enemy is spotted, which I've not bothered with. Uh, damage count in, in battle calculator. That's the one at the top left hand side. You may see in my videos, it'll say that with this tank, I need to get 2,500 damage. I've achieved nothing so far. Blah, 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 it just goes from there. Now, you can have an advanced radial config. And that's literally, do you know where, for some reason, let me show you. Right, this section here is for when you press, hold your finger on Z, it'll pop up with different options saying, catch this, did you catch it, etc, etc. You got a balanced mod, and this will show you your chance of penetration and such, which you press Q to use. I've got it on so no friendly fire allowed, because a lot of time I'll be sniping at somebody, and some prat will drive in front of me when I'm taking when there's a hostile in front and I'm engaging him and I'll end up shooting him. So I've just enabled that. I'm getting really sick of people getting me in trouble and trying to get me flipping banned. Now, you've got spot circles if you want them. So you can see, do you know, if that's your proxy spot circle. You've got the allied silhouettes. If you want to see all the allies on the map, you can use this. Spand an IU cluster. Then you got your hangers. I think the, one of the main things was this one that I was asked about, which is the damage count in in-game battle WN calculator. That's a really quite good. And then clock, three rows, and it's just so many different things. I've just gone and got a couple of things that just make it just a bit more seamly when I'm playing it. Improved map lighting. You can go down and get different base circles. I've chosen it so when I shoot, I can see when I'm being hit by gold or heat. I prefer the mini map that's black and white. I like it to have penetrations. That's mainly for a lot of this stuff enables me to look at the replays or to look at and talk about stuff easier. Some other YouTubers won't use this. Well, what well, fine. They don't use it. I do. You can have for colorblind support. If any of you guys are colorblind and you prefer me to start using colorblind stuff, then let me know. I've also gone for the win eight. So when you're out of game, you see the statistics just pop up at the right hand side so you can see how you're doing with the game. And I've gone for these engine noises. My engine noise is slightly different. They don't sound as meaty as did with the gnomes uh, engine sound, gnome fathers engine sounds. Now it just sounds like more realistic. And that's everything that I've done. Uh, there is some hit skins which I'm going to talk about in another video. For people who may be starting out for the first time, that it could actually help you. Uh, it's probably giving me a lot of grief of people. But... There we go. We'll see that in the future. Anyway, this is just a quick one. Eight minutes and odds. Just a quick discussion on what mods I'm using so you guys can use it. Because I've been asked about it before. Any further information that you want to see, let me know. And I'll come back to you as soon as I possibly can do. Uh, I'm trying to keep up to your demands with the, the videos that I've been asked for. It takes a bit of a while because uh, I'm still learning really. Anyway, subscribe, like and well, spam the likes it really shows me appreciation and it gives me a bit of a uh, motivation and also tells me what you like take care guys stay safe and i'll see you soon so, 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 so,